Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're gonna be learning one of the funnest parts of Valheim, carts. Let's start with some of the basics of how the cart functions, and then we'll get into why it's so fun to use, and some of the advanced tricks that you can use the cart for. The cart is available once you've smelted bronze. All you need is 10 bronze nails and 20 wood. You can make a cart by going into your hammer and building it. The cart itself has a couple features. First off, there's this storage area. Then there's this use area. And if you try and use it, it'll tell you not in the right position because you have to place your character in between these two rungs and then you can use it. And now you're tethered to the cart. We can see that if I get the cart rolling, there we go, you can actually break the connection to the cart. As you use the storage area, you'll notice that boxes and things show up in the graphic of the cart. When you add items to the cart, they have a weight, just like your inventory has a weight. Except, unlike your inventory, the cart has no limit on how much weight you can put in it. However, it's not really unlimited, because the heavier the cart is, then the harder it is to move. Here I've added two piles of iron to the cart. And you can see that it went from 80 pounds to 600 pounds. So the cart has become much heavier. And if I move, eh, it's okay. I can hold shift and I can go up here. This is fine. But now if we look, I've filled the rest of the cart with iron and it weighs 3,000 pounds. And now if I pick it up, and try and move, it's really, really slow. And I'll be able to go down this hill, all right. Like, I'm holding shift, running, right? But then, what happens if I try and go up the hill? All right, well, first off, I can't even walk up it. I have to hold shift. And look how slowly I move. You really have to haul the, the cart when it's full of weight. And if you're in a terrain that's unfavorable, these elevations are gonna absolutely screw you. Because as you can see, I've actually only half filled this with metal. Imagine you fill the whole cart with metal. It becomes basically unmovable unless you're going downhill. You can always take the cart downhill, no matter how heavy it is, but the slightest elevation is gonna give you some problems. If we go over here and I try and go up without holding shift, you see how I can't progress? I have to run to get up, right? That means that the cart would not be able to pass this elevation. A heavy cart can only go where your character can walk without pressing shift. Additionally, the cart itself has health. And if you run around, see, it just took damage, right? Every time it hits an object, it's going to take damage. We can see here that we can actually push it off and it'll just keep rolling, but this cliff isn't that bad, so it's probably gonna be fine. Carts can't be destroyed with the hammer. So if you wanna disassemble it, you have to damage the cart, and then you'll get all of your material back. If your cart's empty, it's best to just have 30 wood and 10 bronze nails in your inventory. This way you have enough to make a workbench and make the cart. Because remember, you can't just make the cart, you have to have a workbench. So you need the 10 wood for the workbench in addition to the wood for the cart. And enemies are going to attack the cart. But when you're using the cart, they're not gonna attack it. They're gonna try and attack you. But the cart actually protects you from the two sides where the handle are. So we'll do it again, but the boar actually tries to attack me, but ends up attacking the cart instead. However, if the boar lines his attack up properly, there we go, now I'll take damage. So the cart actually protects you on three sides. Now, let's imagine that I wanna ditch my cart and fight some enemies. The stronger enemies will just hit you through the cart and destroy both of you. And you don't want that, right? So. You gotta look at it and fuss around and then find the thing and that's kind of a pain. So that's actually an easier way. All you need to do is crouch and then roll and you're actually gonna just leave the cart behind, right? So if I walk over here and I go this way, 
and I crouch, and then I can just roll forward, you just roll out of the cart. And that's a lot easier than trying to find where the thing is and click on it. When you're fighting, you have to be careful. When the cart's still connected to you, you can actually fight enemies without any fear of damaging the cart. As you can see, I can't hurt the cart while it's connected to me. But the moment that I unconnect it, then suddenly it's really easy for me to accidentally destroy the cart. Speaking of destruction, what happens to your items when the cart gets destroyed? We have all this stuff inside and then it gets destroyed and luckily, your items survive. They get converted into these cargo boxes. But these cargo boxes are also just genuinely useful. If you look at it, you can move it around and it can hold four items. And it'll stay there as long as it doesn't get damaged and there's items in it. The moment you empty, it's gone. Another great use for the cart is to fill it with your supplies and food because you can actually eat right out of the cart, as you see. So you can finally have some free inventory space for some potions. A fantastic way to use the cart is to just bring it with you on basic resource gathering adventures in the first biome, the meadows or the black forest. These biomes are a little bit easier to navigate but you do have to be careful where there's a lot of sticks and they can actually get your cart stuck. So the, the more cluttered the area is, the harder it is to take the cart through it. The hardest areas are the areas with really, really high elevation that you need to travel up. Because really you can only bring it down. Traveling through the meadow with the cart is pretty easy. And early on, one of the best uses for the cart is to just run around the meadow and fill the cart up with as much stuff as you can find, because it can hold way more than your character can, especially without the belt. You can when taking your cart through the Black Forest, you have to be very careful, because unlike the meadows, there's dangerous enemies here. So you going around like this actually attracts enemies. So if there's a troll nearby, and you're running through the Black Forest, it's only a matter of time before that troll knows exactly where you are. A great strategy when you are concerned about enemies is to just crouch every now and then. You see how the reticle is just a line? That means nothing knows where I am. And here's a gray dwarf, and if I crouch, you can see the eye is fully open. That means an enemy knows exactly where I am, and they're aggroed and coming to get me. So the swamps crouch. are another great place to use the cart. They're actually one of the best places because you don't even need to prepare the land that much. You can swim with the cart and there's no really high elevation or anything to mess you up except for the enemies. So as you go around, you're going to attract all the nearby enemies as you can see. Using, using the cart in the mountains is uh, one of the harder places, but it is still useful. But really, you should view the cart in the mountain as sort of a one-way street. It's a lot easier to go down than it is to go up. What you want to do is not have the cart, but have the stuff to make it, and then find your silver nodes, mine all of them, and then sort of bring them to a central area. And then once you've gotten all your silver, you'll notice it's excessively heavy. It's a one-way deal. And see how close I am to this edge? Look at this. This cart's full of silver, and uh, it's not gonna make it. <laughs> And this is actually the easiest way to transport silver. You have it in a cart and you find an area like this, like a basically a sheer drop that goes down to another biome. Ideally we go over here, but I have a feeling this cart, yep, 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 that's what happens. That's how you get silver down a mountain. You have to be careful with the cart in the plains though because it doesn't protect you as well as it does in other biomes. Because the mosquitoes are up in the air, they can normally just attack you and kill you. So you have to be really careful. You can see that you can still get attacked by the death mosquito. Here's one of the coolest little known tricks you can do with the cart. You can actually use it like a boat. First, you need to fill your cart with enough items so that there's three boxes in the cart. It's really important. 
See how there's three boxes? It has to be three. And then you just take the cart into the water and then let go of it. And now what you can do is actually get onto the back of the cart and walk. And look at my stamina bar. It's regenerating. Because the game is like, oh, your feet are on land, even though they're in the cart. And my momentum from moving forward pushes the cart forward. So you can basically walk on water by using the cart this way. Check out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated server so that you can play with your friends. It's a great way to enjoy Valheim. And if there's a tutorial that you'd like me to make, then leave a comment below. I love making Valheim tutorials. It's really fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.